Hand loaders, bullet casters, welcome back to my bench. Man, I have been out of it for a pretty good little while. It's probably been, I don't know, two months since I released a video. And I want you to know, everything is okay. There's just been a whole lot going on in the past couple of months. You know, I work a regular job, all that good stuff. And, but there's a lot that's actually been happening at this bench that I want to tell you about. Look, folks, I am missing my Redding scale. <laughs> it is actually over at the Redding shop right now. Uh, that's This is something that I've been wanting to do a review on for a little while, and I'm really looking forward to getting it back. I think I'm going to have a whole lot of really good things to say about not just the scale, because it's a wonderful scale, but I also want to talk a little bit about Redding, you know, because I've had a pretty unique experience with them. And they're really good folks over there. Redding's been around forever. Uh, but I think it would just be fun to chat about it. So I'm looking forward to that. I also decided, you know, I really want to try this new Lee powder measure. <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's Lee. And, you know, there's a lot of great options out there. I could have gone with some, you know, higher end stuff. You know, the price that Lee is asking for on this thing is certainly, uh, you know, a little bit higher than what I'd normally expect from Lee. But I got a really good reason for this particular powder measure. And that's something that I'm also going to be discussing with you. I've got a lot of good things to say about it. I've also got something to gripe about. And so stay with me because I'm going to talk about those things with you. You're probably wondering, wow, why has he got it mounted on this RCBS stand? <laughs> well, I like the stand, uh, but, you know, there's also something else I'd like to tell you about with it that I think you need to know. Uh, but it's a good stand. And as you can see, if you've been following me, you know that I'm very particular about what gets bolted down to my bench. So if you see something that looks like it's bolted down in a permanent fashion, you know, go ahead and figure that, you know, I've decided it's a keeper. Okay. And of course you see here, oh, that's my little Frankfurt Arsenal scale that's been with me forever. And, uh, I've been using it a lot lately. Obviously, you know, my, my nice little Redding hasn't been here for me, which I'm a little sad about. You know, I've always had the means to just measure powder on that thing. And it's kind of like not having your arm. But I found this is a great little tool. I've had it forever. I just haven't really ever, you know, put it through its paces. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to getting my scale back because that's going to be numero uno uh, when it does. Um here and i'm thinking my next video l e wilson oh yeah that is an american brand you know you're dealing with quality if you have any tools that have l e wilson engraved on them and i'm not saying this is the greatest trimmer out there but it's the greatest trimmer on my bench it also happens to be the only trimmer on my bench and I'm not saying I'm not open to using anything else. Uh, but I'm going to talk about some things with this thing. And I think a lot of you are going to find that it's a really good option. Um, and for some of you, you're going to find that eh, maybe not so much. That's all right. We all got reasons for this sort of thing. So another thing that's new here is this RCBS bench mounted automatic primer system. I think I said it right. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure it's actually even automatic. I don't know why they put that in there because it has that big old lever. And, you know, if you want something to happen, you have to push the lever. So maybe it's more like a stick shift. But it's 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 been great. You know, uh, a lot of you watch my video on the Lyman uh, Brass Smith Victory single stage press and you know I talked about the primer system and you know I said good things about it and I still say good things about it uh, but you know this is kind of like an itch I've been wanting to scratch for a long time 
uh, because I've heard so many great things about it that I just had to try it for myself. Again, note it's permanent fastened location. And uh, you'll understand that I'm probably going to have a lot of good to say about it. So here's another great thing that just showed up to my bench. <laughs> you know, uh, I know what you're thinking. Leadsmith, you really need to start powder coating. Why are you not doing this yet? And I want you to know, yes, I am going to get into powder coating. And here in a little bit, I'm actually going to give some shout outs to some other creators that have really helped me kind of understand exactly what perhaps my best method is going to be, that sort of thing. But, you know, I really enjoy using these little Lyman 45 presses. And I was ecstatic to find one that still had the box. And it was like opening something brand new from 1945 or 1955. I don't know. I think these went up to you know, maybe the late 60s or early 60s, and it even came with the instructions. You know, I think somebody bought this and basically used it a few times and put it away. I mean, look at that. I wish you could pick up the scent of old <laughs> antique that comes in this box. Because this is just a great little piece of Americana. But anyways, it was like brand new. I mean, really, there was absolutely no rust. It's uh, looking a little bit funky just at the moment. Just, yeah, you see all that? That's my fault, guys. So it did have lube in it, and I wanted this to be a dedicated uh, bullet sizer for rifle. So I already had a lube in mind that I wanted for it. So you pretty much have to boil out the lube if you want to use these things with a different lube. So I've got two of them now. You've all seen my other one that's been mounted up in the videos that I've done recently. And unfortunately, some of that lube just kind of ends up sticking. And I was pretty sad about that. But you know what? I bought it to use it. I didn't buy it to, you know, display it as an antique piece that will collect dust and never do anything for anyone. Now, this is a workhorse, and it's, you know, it's already seen a good bit of use. So, here we have the projects that's going on now. Of course, if you've been watching my videos, you know, I'm a big fan of trying to keep the bench, you know, decent and organized. It's always a lot easier said than done. You know, you should see this bench off camera. When I get into a project, you can't even see the bench sometimes. But all of this is here right now because it's something that I'm steadily working on. I've got some loads in 762 by 39 set up over there. And these are cast bullet hand loads. And, you know, it's a fairly new territory for me. Um, I've always been, you know pretty much casting and loading for handgun and so now I'm finding rifle is you know a real interesting new territory there's some differences uh, but it's all really still the same concept you know the thing is you know keep the lead inside the bullet I can't stress that enough and you know interestingly you know Lapua brass is the most commonly available brass for this cartridge and you know, um, it's not cheap, but you know what? It's good brass, and I don't think I'm going to have to worry about purchasing a whole lot of brass anytime soon for it. Um, so, yeah, lots of stuff has been going on over here, and I'm going to talk about that trimmer here real soon, possibly the next video, because um, I really want to just kind of use this one to give out some shout outs let people know what's going on and I haven't forgot about anybody because i haven't been on a whole lot lately all right so on to the shout outs jh586 great loader uh wonderful guy man just check out his channel 
he hosts the Georgia Shooters Connection, which is a live stream, which is going to involve a lot of other guys that you're probably familiar with from seeing them on Rumble and YouTube. A lot of us are going to Rumble. A lot of us are on both. Some of us have been kicked off of YouTube, and now we're only on Rumble. Uh, so, yeah, keep an eye out for Jesse B. Outdoors. Very crafty individual. Um, he is uh, really good with a lot of these little things. He does some great videos, and he shows how to do a lot of uh, interesting things. Like, for example, that powder measure that I showed you. The only reason I bought it is because something he showed me in a video that I could do with the Lee powder measure. And I figured I could apply that information to this one. Uh, also, check out Six Shooter Texan. Check out Trees Blowing. Uh, New York City Reloader. I didn't know that there were any reloaders in New York City. So, hey, you know what? The one guy that loads in New York City, he needs our support, folks. Check out his channel. You know, subscribe, like, shoot him a message. Tell all these folks Lead Smith sent you. You know, there's also another channel called Slick Six Guns. Now, he's not really a reloader or gunsmith or anything like that. But his channel is basically a museum of the Old West and their firearms. He goes into great detail about all this. He goes to these cowboy action shooting matches, and he pretty much will take you on a tour of what it's like being in the Old West, which a lot of you guys are all about that kind of stuff. Uh, so also check out C.W. Longshot. Uh, he is also on that Georgia Shooters connection from time to time. And uh, Lever Action Gypsy, check him out. Um, he is also a powder coater. Actually, a lot of these guys are powder coaters, and I've been watching their methods, trying to figure out what's going to work for me. And, you know, maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit. I don't know. But, hey, look, here's another one that is not really a gun channel, but I think you should check them out anyways. You know, after all, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and God was the Word. So to know God, you've got to know the Word, to know the Father, to know the Son. Uh, you have to know the Word, folks. And this fella here, D.W. Price from The Pastor's Cave, gives some great little 10 to 15 minute talks about Scripture and, you know, how it can apply to your life. So check him out. He is a gun guy. He just doesn't have a gun channel. And uh, he's super interested in the stuff that we're doing and and would probably, you know, absolutely love to uh, see some of the work you guys are doing. Uh, also, check out Rumble. Got to get on Rumble, guys. Leadsmith45, you're going to find a lot of my content that you're not going to see on YouTube. Uh Friend me on MeWe, which is sort of like a Facebook, but without all the PC nonsense. And look for me, Lead Smith. Send me a friend request. Check out my group, which is called the Christian Shooters and Handloaders Group. And I would love to have you in my group. So, you know, find me, Lead Smith. Go to my group. Send an application. Uh, and you'll be in shortly after that. So, folks... I'm going to wrap up this session here. I'm real happy to be back, and I'm really looking forward to talking about that L.E. Wilson case trimmer here in the next video. So like, subscribe, and I'm going to see you again real soon.